first we're going to open a new document here. We're going to select new, and then we're going to select a comic. And we're going to use the default settings, press OK. Now that we have a comic page open here, we're going to use the frame tool down here. Now we have the rectangle frame. The rectangle frame creates square frames with the pie line for irregular shaped frames. And then we have the frame border pen, which is going to create frames of any shape or size that you're looking for. So when it comes to the frames, there's a couple different terms. So the first is the border of the frame, and that's going to be the actual border around the box. And then the space in between each frame is considered the gutter. So we're going to go ahead and draw in some frames here using the rectangle. And now each one of these, as we create each one of these frames here, is making a separate folder with a background and a single layer in it. We can divide it two different ways. You can use the divide frame folder, which we take that here, and then we use this. We'll basically allow us to select the angle. So you can basically start here, and then we can try and figure out how we want to cut it. So we can maybe do an angle like this to give it a little more pop. And what happened this time is basically it took our original frame and cut it into two separate frames and made two separate folders for each one. Go ahead and select the frame down here. And on this one, we'll use the divide frame border. So the divide frame border doesn't cut it into separate folders. It just allows you to divide the frame in different ways. So if we want to put one, maybe say it this way, and then maybe we want to do another one this way. And so what's happened here is essentially we've just basically put a couple different borders to maybe add some impact to our frame. Once these are created, and let's say you wanted a bigger border on these, we can go over here and we can use the object tool to select it. And then we can go in and we can edit the frame border. So right now it's showing the brush size is three pixels. We can adjust that up or down and that will adjust the size of the frame. Down here, we can adjust it to be a different type of border. Let's say we wanted the one here, or maybe we wanted to use the squiggles down here, and basically this can just add some variety to your comic. And then up here, we have the main color. What's the color of the border? And then we can select black here, okay. And then essentially that's the main color of our border. So we've showed you how to create a custom border, but if you're in more of a hurry, or you're just looking for something that's already done to save a little bit of time, We'll go ahead and create a new comic here. We'll hit OK. We'll start with the blank one here. And then, so we're going to go in here to the material library. And then we're going to go to manga materials. And then we're going to select framing templates. And then we can scroll through here. And we can look and find one that suits what we want. We'll say this one here. And then we're going to drag that. And we can drop it directly onto our document. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and make some changes to this. We'll go to the framing ruler and we're going to divide some of these frames. So we'll set this down a little more. So coming over here, you can change the vertical and horizontal gutter. And that's basically going to change the space in between the frames. You see here we have a little more space in between these. I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these in here like this. OK, great. We finished making a template that we like. We might want to keep to use in the future. So we're going to go up here to edit. And then we can go down to register material. And we're going to register a template. That's going to open a window here. And then it's going to ask us what do we want to name it. So we'll name this uh, test template. And then we will store this under our manga material. And we'll put it in as a framing template. And then we hit OK. 
So you see over here on our right, we have the test template that we just created, and now we have that to use for future comics. That's it for this quick tutorial on the frame roller. I hope you learned something. I hope this improves your workflow, makes it a little faster. If you learned something today, please leave us a like, subscribe for more videos in the future.